What is going on today, guys? This is Tony from Team Divine Pro here, and I'm coming at you guys with a pre-requested deck profile video. So I know that this isn't very, uh, very orthodox way of doing the deck profile, but it's because um somebody requested I do a zero nutsu kaima, um, uh, something the servant of zero, something like that. I can't remember the exact English translation. Yeah, the servant of zero something like that but yeah so something like that um he requested that i make him a deck profile and you can guys can do the exact same thing whether it be for card pet banger to waste or anything or even we cross as i know scruffy could probably help me out with doing that for you guys um yeah so he asked me to do any deck profile so like i had no limitations on price or anything so i have gone ahead and just done the best deck profile i possibly could and hopefully you guys enjoy and hopefully you comment down below or at least message us to see what you want as another deck profile because I can do this for any set as long as I can find the pictures which is most likely the case. So um, for Zero Nuts Kaima I've decided to use both the um, first ED that they, uh, first uh, booster that they released and the second one so both. So that is just a spoiler warning in advance and I just clicked on save and enjoyed these. Okay so starting off with the there uh just to get a rough draft there is um this is the set for the first one so w03 and then just to show off you have also uh w03 now uh a little mention for w13 you will need some cards from the trial deck for w13 like if you want like really just one card because everything else apart from that one card is reprinted in the booster but that is just something to be told, just to make sure that it is caught on. So, uh, I'll get into the deck profile as soon as I place these pages. So, getting into the deck profile, we start off with four of these 3-2... Uh, uh, no, in reality, I don't know the name, but, uh, you know, four 3-2 person, yellow. Uh, 10k beater, it has the experience that if there is a... If the, um, the level 2 that you'll see later on is... Or the level one that's red, one one seven k, uh, vanilla kind of thing is in your level slot. So in the level, not in the uh, stock, but as the level, then your this card becomes a level two pretty much, but in your hand, which is really powerful because it allows you to have a changer at level two, which is huge. Which means that even though you're clocking level twos and level ones into your level uh, counter, it still means that this card that you have more level twos because this card is a pseudo level 2 and level 3 in a way. So run 4 of those. Uh, run 3 of these car this card. So it's, um, oh yeah, um, unless if otherwise stated they, oh gosh, what did I do? Okay, well then. Uh, I guess I locked that, logged that one out. But um, Unless otherwise stated, guys, all the cards are from set 13 except for the ones that you will, I will mention that, um, from step three but that other card the yellow one was not from step 13 so lucky for us that was perfectly fine even though i clicked the x by accident because my trackpad's a little messed up right now but yeah so we've run three of these cards now this ability is when this card is placed on the start stage from your hand through uh or through change place the top card you're clocking in the waiting room so seals when uh the climax is i believe a gate is placed in the climax slot if this card is from your front row choose one of your uh cards from memory slot place it into a slot on any stage during this turn this card gets plus three thousand power now, I haven't really looked into exactly what the card is, so I'm going to do that with you guys. Now, see, now this doesn't really apply then because of the fact that I do not run that card. So, yeah, but I don't think I even run the Climax. No, I run the Climax, but I just don't run the Climax combo. So, yeah. Interesting, but yeah. Um, I just don't run the Climax combo because there's no point in having this dead 2k2, um, the 2-2, two because two, it's really not worth it. And you need more room for other things that you'll see in the future uh, and understand why it is like that. So yeah, run three, uh, three of those. So a total of seven level threes. So now this is the 2-2, two two uh, the, the level 2 that we run four of because we want it to be in our level stock for that level 3 as mentioned bef before. Uh, so its ability, it's a 5k, and it's from the 13th set. So support all characters in front of this card get plus 
um, x power x is equal to the level times 500 so it's a level multiplier but with a really good upside so also it has an ability of paying one stock when uh, the climax is placed in the uh, climax slot you may pay the cost if you did search your deck for up to one or other link was level one or below show it to your opponent add to hand so it's a searcher I don't run the climax combo as to my knowledge so it really makes no difference uh, yeah I do not run the climax combo because there are better things to run but it's just more you're using it for the level multiplier aspect and because you only need the level uh counter thing but you don't really you you won't use the effect at all because you're going to notice that you really want to hold on to that stock for like later on and you really there's good cards that you want to save your stock for that's why i don't run uh now this card is a promo it's the only promo card you're going to need uh since we only run five level twos you only need one of these cards since we ran four of the other ones now this card is the assist level two uh 3k so there's only one 3k like this i believe that's at least yellow because we don't run a lot of green so it's this is mainly a red yellow deck so there's no point in running any other extra green cards to compensate to get the level 3k uh blocker so unless if you can't get this card then i would suggest maybe fill it figuring uh adding another maybe 1k maybe adding another of the other block cards but apart from that you would probably want to run at least one of these 3k blockers if you possibly could get your hands on the promo now this is the other card that you can get from either the trial deck or from the booster set i prefer to get the booster set one because i am assuming that it'll probably be a lot easier for most people since the trial decks are kind of harder to come by so uh this card is just the basic 7k beater but it also goes well with the um 3k the level 3 which can go down by level so which is why in a way making it a level 2 the 3 the level 3 uh level 2 is very easy because you have 8 cards and on top of that most likely it's you will speed them since you're running this at 4 as well so running 4 of these uh, for level 1 let me just clarify we run 12 so level 2 we ran 5 and then level 3 we ran eight, uh, 7 so this is 12 so run 4 of those uh, we run uh, we, oh my gosh I can't speak we, we run 3 of these uh, 55k vanillas one zero and there's a good reason for this and that's because it's to compensate with the climax i mean the event card that you will see in a little while so yeah uh another one zero uh from oh i'm sorry the the 55 was from set three uh that was my mistake i forgot to tell you guys but that previous card was from the first zero note psych to kaima uh set now this one's from the 13th one so it is a uh Place this card into waiting room when another of your characters is being front attacked. You may pay the cost if you did choose one of your characters with this style during this turn. It gets plus 1500 power. So it's it's a good defensive card. It is why um, it's best that you have this card maybe per se in the back if you have two. So that you have one is kind of like acting as the booster until you get to the level multiplier booster. Because this card is very good at saving your butt because it's in way a pseudo blocker. But then you get to add the block as well to it. So in reality, I think that you'll have you'll be blocking for around four five four forty five around. So I, if I'm correct, I'm not too sure about that. But yeah, so it's a good card. So you're gonna run three of them. You don't want to have too many because it'll clog up your hand and it's only five k. Now you run. Uh, this is from the third set as well. So we run two of the blockers. Now this card you could probably implement as a third if you do not find a promo but yeah so two of them uh it's the assist to 15k so then if you uh, put it with the other previous card then you'll go for you'll be blocking for 3k which is really good and it's the only pretty much yellow blocker that you can use but it's really good so that's it for level ones we run 12 total now for level zeros we run 16 one six so this is the only trial deck card that you could you would really need to get from the trial deck from W uh, the set 13. So its ability is if your stock is two or less, this card gains plus one level and plus 1,000 power. So it's kind of like the Kirito Solo player, but better because you don't you can have as many uh, uh, chairs as you want and it still have that power level as long as your stock is two or less. So even late game, this card can still be very good because it's a level you know it, the. 3-5, it could ram something, probably kill a few suiciders, anti-suicider, you know, pretty good. So we run four of those, make sure you, this is a very key card in the deck as I've noticed. Uh, we run one of these from 
it's during your turn all your characters get plus 500 power so it's a it's a 1000 but it's more used for the boost aspect early on in level zero which is why i only won one when this card is placed on stage from hand choose one of your other i believe i don't know what this is i don't know what the text is uh that's what i thought okay i thought it was magic so so magic characters during this turn it gets plus 1000 power so exactly it's in reality a 2k booster for the first turn and it's mainly used as the boost aspect until you get to level one where you can combine it with the uh red guy that we talked about so those two together should give you enough sufficient power because the cards are pretty strong as they are by themselves and they're pretty much free most of them as you'll understand why later uh the only green card that we play in the deck so we run two of these green cards so its ability is place one card from your hand into waiting room when this card is placed on stage from hand you may pay the cost if you did search your deck for up to one magic character show it to your opponent add it to hand shuffle your deck afterwards so a searcher so that's why we don't really need the other one because later on if the level two one because later on that would be pretty much a dead card because you're at level two and you don't really need to pay the stock or anything and it's a climax combo whereas this one's just a straight up uh searcher which is really good and as i said before in previous videos two is enough three clog enough said now this card we run four of it is a 2k body uh if your stock is two or less this card gains the following ability activate when this card becomes reverse if this card battles with uh, opponent is cost or zero or uh, is cost zero or lower you may reverse that character so it's a suicider but only if your stock is two or less which is very doable in the way that because you rush your opponent very quickly but then it's just you want to see this card and then afterwards you either figure out a way to pay all the stock out really quickly or that you just let it become a 2k body because what i like to do is that i rush and then afterwards i just use it as a normal thing and then afterwards if needed i'll brainstorm or use cards that require stuff so that i get back into it when it's still level zero uh this card very important card so i run two of it yeah i run two of it so it is a brainstormer so it's concentrate Rest this card, flip the top card, four cards of your deck, place them into waiting for each climax among, choose up to one character with cost zero or lower from your waiting room, place it into different slots of, oh sorry, cost zero means uh just, call, oh okay I see now, yeah so the card was a bit better, the other one I think it was a suicider then for, yeah so it's a suicider for anything, that's a lot better, that card's really good, the previous one, I, yeah I completely missed that, that card, but yeah, so it can kill anything that is a free card to call out, so really good card, same thing with this card, that is why we run so many zero zero like uh cost zero cards so that you have access to the level ones that can do the same thing and then you have a very consistent field very good card so in all reality you have that suicider is a suicider for level one but even more powerful as per se now the last card we have is three uh from set three it is a blue card during your opponent's turn all your char uh, characters with uh something in its name it gets plus 1,000 power, so I'm assuming that apart from the green card, it would be fine. Yep. That is right. So apart from the green card, everything is fine for that card, I believe. So I would probably want to make sure, just to make sure. I'll just check again. But I'm assuming that everything but green... Yeah, so everything but the green card, searcher, and this card would be all good. So it's just another power booster. Put it behind the back row to keep it boosting, and then swap it out later... So you have this card and the red guy, if you can. But that's probably it. And then you switch to the level multiplier after. We run two of these events from the set three, which are really good cards. Some people run three. I prefer two just because it's a two. It's a level two card. So it costs one stock. Choose one character from your waiting room. Return it to hand. Flip the top three cards from your deck. Place them into waiting room. If there is a climax among those cards, choose one character from your waiting room. Return it to hand. So this card is a pretty much a salvage, and it adds the the cost isn't even a cost. It adds one character back from your waiting room, so it's a plus two in a way, because you add something from your hand for free, and then you search for fr you retrieve for free, which is amazing. Just just amazing. Now for climaxes, we run four gates, so four of these gates from step three and then four of this other gate so guys that's it um i'm kind of running low on time so comment rate like and subscribe 
comment for next year the uh, vids that you would like to see and another news. This is Antonio from Team Divine Throat signing off.